G'day, my name is David Troy, and this is the David Troy Cell. Let's just jump right into it today. This is my model Jaylee. As you can see, she's got some crazy curly hair, which I absolutely love. And we're gonna cut and color it. So let's um, break it down for you. What I'm gonna do with the color today, I'm gonna keep it pretty natural. So I'm gonna balayage the whole color. So I'm gonna get it pretty blonde is my goal. So I start on the side. I wanna start on the front because that's where I do want the lightest around her face. So by taking that section, I'm going to paint the color on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in a V section. So when I paint the color on, I'm not going to take it all the way to the roots. It's not going to be an ombre, it is a balayage, but I am going to take quite big sections. And for my color today, I am using the Synchro Lift by Paul Mitchell, and I'm going to use 30 volume, because I want to get it pretty light. I just start off by slowly painting the color on. I'm going to start with that V section which I talked about. So I paint it on one side and then paint it on the other side. Just so we end up with a nice balance. A little bit underneath. I want to make sure this is pretty much saturated. So to get some variation within the color, I'm going to put a foil on the very bottom of the hair. So that way we lift a little bit lighter down the bottom. Now I'm going to alternate. I am going to do some in foil and some without the foil. So it lifts at different speeds. So we get different shades of blonde. So one big thing you always have to remember when you're coloring curly hair is that they always have the ability to straighten it. So not only do I want it to look good curly, I've got to make sure that it's clean and looks good when it's straight as well. Let's just speed this part of the video up and I'll let you watch the whole application that I do on Jaylee with the color. And then I'm going to sit her under the dryer for about 15 minutes before we tone it. <laughs> After rinsing the color off, I chose not to actually tone Jaylee's hair because I really like the way the blonde turned out. So let's just jump into the haircut. So one thing that you really have to remember when cutting curly hair is you don't want too much tension on the hair. So I use a wide end of the comb. So first the thing is determine how short Jaylee wants it. Cut a bit off here and I know it's going to jump up a little bit once we dry it. Once she's okay with the length and we determine that she's fine with taking a couple inches off, we go ahead and just bring every section straight down, right up to the occipital bone. Just determining the length, I'm just cutting it straight across the bottom. And one thing you'll see in this video, I'm constantly asking Jaylee to put her head in a certain direction. You know, it's very important that you make sure your client's sitting right to make sure the haircut falls right. I see a lot of videos with people crossing their legs and their shoulders not sitting right. It's a big part of the haircut, so you really have to make sure the client's head stays in the right position. Just working my way up the back here, just after I cut it, I do let that curl come out a little bit, just to see how much it pops up. As I get into where the occipital bone is, this is where I'm going to start connecting it to the side. I'm doing a long layer, but I'm letting the hair drop out the bottom. I'm keeping the tension really loose here. I know it looks like it's tight, but I'm using the wide tooth of my comb and I'm keeping it really loose because I know it's going to bounce up. When cutting curly hair, you always have to take into consideration how much it's going to shrink up once we dry it. And right here, just making sure Jaylee's head is in the right position because I'm dragging everything back and I don't want it to be too short. I don't want those layers to pop up to where it's unmanageable. I want to keep a nice, soft, long layer. Move around to the top or the crown area, just connecting that bottom guideline to the top guideline, making sure the tension's loose in my fingers and using the wide end of my comb so I'm not keeping it too tight because I want to keep it pretty natural. I've cut all the back I move on to the side and again I want to keep a loose tension so you can see here I'm using the wide tooth of my comb slightly pulling it out so over directing it back just a little bit to keep a little bit of length in the front but not keeping that tension I want to keep a loose tension especially when cutting curly hair it's very important because we don't want to create we're not trying to create like a straight blunt line because it's curly I know it's going to have that movement 
I just go ahead and cut the other side exactly the same, leaving it slightly longer in the front because I know it's going to bounce up. But you can see that long layer in the back of Jaylee's hair already. And I'm loving the way this haircut's turning out. I'm gonna actually blow dry this straight so we can have a look at the end result and the end shape but I love the way it looks when it's curly I can already see the colors gonna look amazing when this shrinks up a little bit and when that blonde really comes out just go through with a ball bristle brush and round brush the whole thing let's have a look at the end result when it's straight look I love the way this turned out I love the color I think it looks amazing straight also looks amazing curly I couldn't have been happier with the result so here's the before and after and it took me about 30 minutes to blow dry this just to round brush it all out but overall I love the result I think it looks incredible don't forget to like comment and share this video and thank you so much for watching do me a favor hit that subscribe button as well